in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you all about Zoom polls. So if you've ever joined a Zoom meeting and then there's a poll that you could participate in that asks you a question, well, now you can set up even more advanced polls. But I'm gonna talk about first how to uh, turn on the feature for the advanced poll, and we're gonna walk through how you can set up a general poll or an advanced poll. So let's say you're on your Zoom account and you're probably on your meetings tab. You wanna to go to the left menu bar and scroll down to settings. When you click on settings, it'll bring you to your settings page. And I like to find this stuff fast. So what I want you to type in is advanced polls. So it brings us directly to the meeting polls and quizzes section. You wanna make sure that it's turned on with the blue and then you're gonna allow for a host to create advanced polls and quizzes and then allow alternative hosts to create a lot of polls and quizzes. If you want to do an event or a Zoom meeting where you want people to be able to answer the uh, questions anonymously, then you could click that button, but we are gonna leave it unchecked for now. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Now that you've activated advanced polling, you're going to go back up to the left uh, menu button and you're going to click on meetings. Once you clicked on meetings, you're going to scroll to the meeting that you would like to edit. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this meeting. Uh, you don't want to hit the edit button. You actually just want to click on the meeting itself, the title of the meeting. If you click on the edit button, it brings you to the back end of where you're able to set up the time and date, but we don't want that. We've already set up our meetings. Now what we want to do is add complex polls and quizzes. So if you look at the middle of the screen, you'll see next to branding, we have polls and quizzes. So we're going to go ahead and click polls and quizzes. And for this event, I don't really have any polls and quizzes, but we're going to add some. So you want to click on the button that says create. So here we have our options that we can click either creating a general poll or do advanced polling and quizzing. If you want to know deeper about the difference, there is an article link from the Zoom profile, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about it here. So polls are, you know, are basic single choice as well as multiple choice questions. So single choice just means a person can only select one option and a multiple choice, they can select multiple options. Super easy, super clear. You'll add your poll, right? You have your poll question as well as at the top, you can title your poll. So titling your poll just allows for it to be an easier process during the live Zoom event for you to click into the batches of polls. So let's say you wanted to have, this is poll batch one, and then you had two questions in poll batch one. So for example, it's back question is there, test question two. And you know, this is just an example. So I'm going through it pretty quickly. And so now we have poll batch one and it has two different questions inside of it. And we could go ahead and edit it if we like to. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do another one. And this is gonna be an advanced polls as well as quizzing. So this allows you to do multiple choices, uh, matching, ranking, as well as written in short, long, or fill in the blanks, as well as a rating scale. So maybe towards the end of the event, you want to have a, people rate the event from a one to 10. Did they like it? Did they not like it? Or throughout the event, you want short written answers. Maybe it's a classroom session that you're doing on Zoom, as well as mix and matching answers. So this one is for um, prompts and pos possible answers. Uh, another one is a ranking order. So you could rank what is the most liked or what's the least liked. But I really like this complex quizzing and polling feature because it just makes your event more robust. So gamification, as we all know, amplifies whether you're learning or doing um, an interactive event. When you add gamification to it, which you can do with the quizzes and the polls, it just makes people pay better attention, get them engaged, and get that real-time feedback for the participants of your event. So I hope, and don't forget to hit the save button when you're completed creating these quizzes and polls because otherwise everything deletes. So if I don't go, you know, if I hit save, it's all good. But if I hit, um, if I go ahead and make a, another example here, I'm creating it. I type in all my information, uh, test two, right? I'm adding all these questions. I'm making it required. And then I hit, you know, I forget to hit save where I come out of this screen then um, you know you could either even even save it as a draft, right? So it's saved as a draft here. So just remember to save your polls and it's gonna say not launched until you're in the actual Zoom event and then you can launch the polls from the Zoom event. So I'm gonna actually open up this event and show you what it looks like when you're launching the polls.